They are perhaps one of any Navy's most renowned assets. As amphibious troops, we put and highly trained. It is a fight cannot be handled. They are known under various pseudonyms, devil dogs, bootnecks, black devils, fujos, and many more. É importante confiar uns nos outros. They are deployable by sea and by air and able to operate on different terrains under all weather conditions. Worden van de woestijn tot in de bergen zich conflicten ontwikkelen. They are the Marines. The unforgiving fjords and mountains of Norway, where temperatures reach minus 35 degrees Celsius, is for many a landscape to be feared and avoided. But for the UK's Royal Marine Commandos, it presents an ideal training ground. The Royal Marines are Arctic specialists, so we're out here every winter. It adds so much to what we can do on the land. The relationship between Norway and the Royal Marines stretches back to World War II, when British commandos orchestrated a series of raids on the Nazi-occupied Norwegian coast. And that commando aspect, and that's the, the legacy of the Royal Marines. Norway and the United Kingdom are now close NATO allies. And for this group of commandos, the freezing conditions on the Norwegian coastline presents a challenging opportunity to conduct drills in their orcs, or offshore raiding craft. So the Orc is our jet boat and we've got two variants. We've got the troop carrying variant which can take six people and deliver them onto a beach and then we've also got the, the fire support variant and that's our kind of protection while we're out in the water. But in places and conditions like these it wouldn't just be the enemy that... Uh, especially out in the water because we've got the wind chill as well as obviously the water that freezes instantly as well. And if we're heading off... With almost 180,000 active personnel, it's the United States Marine Corps. 